Welcome to Digital Scrapper Tutorials. I'm Linda Satgast with a lesson on one of the cool new features of Photoshop Elements 9, the out of bounds photo effect. Start with a photo that has something that would look good sticking out of a photo, and in this case, the canoe paddle would be perfect. Click on the guided tab in the upper right corner of the editor, and then scroll down to the bottom to fun edits and click on out of bounds. Mouse over the photo at the top to see the before and after effect. This is what we're after, to have something popping right out of the photo. Then follow the step-by-step -step instructions. I'll click to add a frame, and I get an adjustable selection outline over here. If you drag from a corner handle, the outline will stay proportional, and if you drag from a side handle, you can change the proportions. Make sure the object you want to go out of bounds is at least partially outside the bounding box. The next step is to add perspective. So this is the effect that I'm going to get. Press and hold Control, Alt, Shift in Windows or Command, Option, Shift on a Mac and click and drag from the top center handle to create a parallelogram effect. You can drag left or right or you can click and drag from a corner handle, up or down. So here's what it looks like down and up, and that just makes it look like it's receding away from you. Or you can start by dragging in and back and getting that effect. So you can make a lot of different kinds of effects. I'm just going to go for the parallelogram effect, move it over here. And once you have it just where you want, then you can let go of those keys, Control, Alt, Shift in Windows, or Command, Option, Shift on a Mac, and now you can click and drag from any handle to resize this even more. That looks good to me, so I'll click on the green check mark to accept it. The background will change and you'll get a better idea now of what your photo will look like. Notice that I still need to confirm this. It's giving me one more chance to adjust my photo now that I can see how it'll look, but I recommend that you do not adjust it at this point or the white photo edges that are going to appear in the next step won't be properly lined up. So I'll simply click on the green check mark to accept it as it is, and now you can see that white outline around the photo. The next step is to use a quick selection tool to make a selection of the area you want to stick outside your photo. So just click on this little button that says quick selection tool. Come over here and you'll see a little plus sign in your cursor click and drag to make a selection and if you need to click and drag some more to add to the selection you can do that if you need to subtract from the selection press the alt key in windows or the option key on a mac and you'll see a minus sign inside your cursor the paddle is very easy to select because it has well defined edges so the next step is to click on the create out of bounds and there's my paddle sticking right out of the photo. Now there are two more steps that I can do, and let's go ahead and do these. And one is to add a drop shadow to the image, and I'll click on the small button to add a small drop shadow, and let's go ahead and add the gradient too. I'll click on that, click OK to the dialog box that comes up. Now I'm going to change the style to linear, and I'll change the scale to around 125 and click OK. To finish off, click the Done button. And then click on Full again to get back to Full Edit. And there is my Out of Bounds photo. Notice all the layers that this created. In my next video, I'll give you some tips and show you how to work with a photo like this so you can use it on a scrapbook page. Thanks for listening. I'm Linda Sadgas with Digital Scrapper Tutorials.